I think Castile might be a better way to form the Angevin Empire. And to do that, of course, you would have to start as Castile, then form England, then do the PU with France. But if you do this, you also get the PUs with Portugal, Aragon, not to mention you obviously got all the land from Spain. You can PU Austria, which has PUs. My game had PUs on Bohemia and Hungary. At any rate, you guys may want to consider this. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. And if you guys enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. But with that out of the way, let's get into the gameplay. Sorry, we're going to want Burgundy to be friendly with us so we can get the alliance straight away. Whatever else RNG doesn't really matter. Start with normal privileges. So for me, religious state, oversight, religious diplomats, classical education, and development of temples. The nobility, mana privilege, increased levies, supremacy rights of council, the burgers, land of commerce, patronage of the arts, free enterprise, indebted to the burgers, and that should be good. Go ahead and seize land. We're gonna try to go for radical reforms really early. Right now we don't have an advisor. We're gonna fire two advisors early on just to see if I can change that. We'll need the trade efficiency guy and the inflation reduction guy. And for our military advisor, it doesn't really matter. Moral discipline should be fine. So our inflation guy, we're trying to get that radical reforms to go as soon as possible. So our flagship, we're gonna do fleet blockade impact on siege, fleet morale, and flagship cannons. We need to roll Mary Burgundy, of course. We're going to delete our forts here. You're definitely not gonna want forts when the disastrous trigger because you don't want the rebels to auto occupy a fort but we're gonna recruit a few more guys let's go up to 12-4 and you stack and we're gonna disinherit straight away as we want to trigger a second disaster in a bit here but our first disaster is gonna be our kind of first order of business rival to england and aragon and france should be fine so if your fleet maintains when you're not using it it'd be helpful we'll just kind of chill for a minute while we wait for our first disaster so this run remains they went to war what we want, we actually want England to lose as much provinces as possible. So that's pretty good for us. We'll also be friends with the Pope. It'd be probably pretty smart. Maybe we'll get some chance to be the Papal Controller. And here's the first disaster, the infants of Aragon. We're going to hit, we stand with the king. You're going to want a group of your guys and just kind of build these rebels as a kind of a one death stack. That'll help you lose the least amount of guys. We'll just take care of that first stack and then leave one guy or at least probably two guys that can siege just because they need a thousand good men to, to siege that down. And then we'll send... We'll send the rest of the guys kind of towards the other stack. You want to be quick and efficient with these disasters so you don't, you know, sit there longer than you'd like to. So you're going to need to boost your stability one, and you're also going to need to unoccupy all the rebel stuff. Normally you might get some events and you just kind of want to ignore those. But for me, I actually got no events, which is really weird. But I'll take it. And then for this one, just make sure you slack in here for the uh, double the manpower you get. So right now you'll see it's 8,000. If you slack in, shoots up to 22,000. That's pretty nice. Got quite a bit of manpower now. But don't forget to turn off slacking, because we're actually going to need 15 professionalism in a moment. And we're going to go with the tried and true no see Byzantium just to slow these guys down in the early game. Go ahead and declare that war. Let's grab our other guys here and bring them over. And I want to send a nice barrage here. We got the Constantinople dealt with. Got some siege ability, military divided. Okay, that's pretty nice. I'd like to boost our stability someday, because obviously the uh, truce break hurts. Or I mean the no CB hurts, but... So we got, we got military access here as well, so that's pretty nice. We can kind of just walk over and... Kill these guys is it's kind of two stacks. So I'm probably going to send another naval barrage. I'm going to grab four more cogs and two more heavies. And we're going to grab these three ships and we're going to help the navy out a bit here. We'll go ahead and just vassalize him here and take a little bit of money. We'll boost our stability up once. Eventually we'll get our stability back to a good spot. I need my ships to repair a bit too. Okay, we got a nice air here. 365. And we really just want an air because it'll help us get a disaster. In the Castile Civil War, you can see it here. We're going to need to get some professionalism here. So we need five professionalism. And I can do that just by recruiting five generals. That's okay. And hopefully when these ships recruit, we'll have that mission done. Yeah, there we go. That mission's done there. And then we got the Spanish Armada mission done as well. So we should be able to attack England now. We're going to declare war, make London the war goal. And just jump into that. Portugal's going to be in the war, so we're going to basically destroy him real quick. We're just going to send him the nice barrage assault. We got there, we're just going to go ahead and barrage. And then we will group our guys up here and we can just assault. And we'll shift consolidate every, you know, every, over and over. Okay, that's done. It's going to be a quick white piece with this guy for a very short truce. That way we can use him to attack again, you know, and get the truce with England reset very fast. So of course we're going to just split up our armies here and we're going to get one stack here and send them over to Pale. Oh, we forgot to go for Epirus though. We should have gone for Epirus. It doesn't really matter. Though, right? Like, all you gotta do is take Constantinople and it should slow them down a lot, right? Can't access this mission tree. And it looks like London's being sieged put on by France. I've, this is interesting. But obviously we're hoping to beat this war before the disaster triggers. 
We've got essentially 25 months. I'll just white piece both these guys. And these guys could be used to, to uh, break the kind of the truce with England. So it's really good to have a bunch of people like this. But now we're going to go over and just walk over and siege down an area. Looks like this guy got released already. It's actually a huge win for us. Wales got released here. And he had to return his cores for there too. That's interesting. England lost extra hard in this war because France landed on London somehow. Maybe because he was busy dealing with my ships. I don't really know why it happened that way, but it's kind of funny. I wonder if Burgundy's going to occupy London and take it. I would actually give uh, Burgundy London. I think it'd be funny. Our goal is to eliminate England really fast. And this obviously is going to help with that a lot. So what I'm going to do here before we end this war, we're going to get some claims on different people in Ireland over here. So we, we can just basically attack them straight away. Oh, the Civil War is here. A little busy, the Civil War. Can you come back later? We need to support the Aragonese candidate here. That's fine, but we do have to... Um, it is a problem, because it's happening right this second, which is um, awkward. But we can boost our stability at least. Reduce our exhaustion. We just need to get home and deal with that real quick. And of course, we got Isabella of Castile and just hit the throne as hers. To 563. Pretty solid. This war is pretty much over. They, these guys just are terrible at sieging. We need to like get home, so we're going to try to just sail back. Hopefully this doesn't get too bad we got a lot of french involvement sure we got we got to get back there we probably should hire the free company i'm gonna let this guy i'm gonna trust this guy to siege these provinces for me oh yeah see i trust ai you know they, they're trustworthy people oh uh, we're actually gonna get a lot of like help from our because we're at war i didn't think about that it's gonna be easy because they're gonna siege down to everything really fast that wasn't too bad we still have not enough stability to fix the problem so that's fine we got this mission done as well. We can do that. That's the, for just attacking these guys. But actually, I like to the Ottomans. They got they they uh, you know, a, little, a little revenge for me <laughs> taking uh you know taking these guys. We're just a little ways away from getting the ability we need to end this disaster. So I'm gonna end the war and just take tail, and I'm gonna take all the trade centers. So you can see here, there's four trade centers, and we'll just end that war. And we are gonna have to bring our guys back up there to deal with rebels. So we should probably do that, and we are going to basically be attacking over here in um, Ireland, because we want to make sure that England does not expand into Ireland at all. So I've been fabricating claims, and I'm going to get those claims straight away. And then I'm actually going to release Meath, so I don't want to uh, deal with those rebels and stuff like that, so Meath should be a good target for the rebels instead of me. <laughs> but we still got the claims, so that's kind of the, the idea is that we fabricated the claims. Okay, Civil War's over, so I'm going to sail up here to go for, after Wales. Who's already at War of Scotland, but I'm not going to be able to corp our stuff super fast. We probably want to concentrate where we can. That's fine. We're not going to be able to cord up straight away. But we did a mission here. Let me see it. Oh, this one. We're going to hold this mission until later when our person's the our good, our person's the ruler. Probably it's fine to put our guy in, in our army so he dies. Let's grab a new advisor, though. We never, we never got radical reforms, actually, so it's kind of scuffed. I guess we have to solve two advisors. I just really want the radical reforms. But, we, you know, we're not getting lucky. Let's go for this war on uh, Wales here. He's going to be pretty free for the taking. So we're going to end that flummoxation here. We'll just core that all up. And we gotta got leave some guys here to fight rebels. And we're getting coalitioned, so that's fine. I don't really care. Finally got radical reforms, though. I'm gonna declare war on, like, most of Ireland now. So that should be, uh, not, not too hard. We're low on manpower, but it's fine. And we're getting coalitioned a little bit by, like, random people that should... I don't know why they care. Mostly because France is in it, and they're willing to join because France is strong. I'm gonna attack these guys. They're all stacked, so it should be pretty easy. And then they're going to retreat, so let's follow them. They're probably going to retreat down here, I guess. Then they're going to retreat up here. See where they go. You guys are caught. They may try to retreat over here. We're just going to bring our ships over to blockade. Okay, they're dead there. And finally, they're dead there. So that's pretty much everyone in the war. And I think we can send a one man to each one of them. So they can't re-recruit. Uh, re but yeah, we'll, we'll just teach up what we can. And it shouldn't be too hard. And we're playing rather aggressive with our loans. We're at 15 loans. Who, who, who worries about loans, though? You know what I'm saying? We got an unconditional surrender, but yeah, we're, go we're going to give everything to Meath here. So all this goes to Meath. Send a score in full to uh, England here. Just so Scotland will leave the coalition. So I don't want to fight him. We've got one more siege to do, I think, over here. We're good to go. Trying to give Meath all of this land over here. We're going to stop England from getting much progress in the game. That's that's the thought. But we're just going to grab all those provinces and a little bit of money. What I really need to do is my autonomy got low, unfortunately. So I need to um, lower my autonomy everywhere. In like my entire nation. I'm going to send one guy over here to um, drill with my general and my leader in dreams that he dies. He probably won't die, though, because, you know, that's just my luck. Burgundy's kind of getting his ass kicked, and I don't like it. I mean, who's the war? Who's the main war, like, a war against Defender, against France? Conquest of Bro Nanad, or... Uh, yeah, okay, so it is, it is... Burgundy's Burgundy's not the main target, so maybe he won't 
lose too much. Our truce with England is going to be a while, I think. Let's see, when does it expire? Um, 69. I'm probably going, like, let me see. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and advocate because I've got an insanely better ruler. Yeah, now that I've advocated, I'm actually going to click this to give her even, you know, 111 each thing. So this is 664. And she's going to live for the next 50 years, at least. I'm hoping. Okay, we got the Iberian wedding. We're going to let us find the destiny, their destiny dynasty, I mean, to theirs. Find their destiny to ours. Let's, uh, let's rival the Ottomans and rival Venice. We could go for the Venice PU here. We might as well get that taken care of. So yeah, let's um, just jump into that. They need to like fix this, really. It's kind of stupid. The, the like permanent pretenders. Even playing as Byzantium, it's pretty. It's a pretty miserable experience. He doesn't have any great allies, so this isn't going to be particularly challenging. But Abin's super low. I'm going to focus Abin now. We're definitely making money before we really weren't. So that's kind of a step in the right direction. What happened to Burgundy in that war? Is it bad? Kind of bad, yeah. Burgundy lost those provinces for sure. He created some awful border gore here. Did he, what else did he lose? Oh, I need to roll a Mary Burgundy, speaking of. So that's unfortunate that he lost some provinces, but it's, at the end of the day, it's fine. We'll figure it out. We don't want to go to war with England. Well, Portugal and England. Just a little bit here. I hate how similarly we look to, we look to Scotland. It's annoying. <laughs> We're slowly trying to repay our loans. We're obviously in a lot of debt, though. We'll pay our 1% off, and then maybe we'll get new burger loans and refinance later. So we should be ready to go to this war with Portugal. We're going to do restoration of Union. Oh, wait, never mind. Go to Truce still. Okay, we're going to just five speed to that Truce state. November. Okay. Okay, Truce expired. Go ahead and restoration Union. Coblage rate. Yeah, let's just do that. All right, next reforms here. We got to grab the decentralized bureaucracy. I guess we'll just sell our guys up here to help. Carpet Siege. All right, and North England taking stuff to cut them off from Scotland and just whatever else. We're going to unstate some stuff, I think, just to concentrate. There, and then, let's see, can we concentrate anywhere else? Concentrate a little bit here, pour that all up. We might be getting coalition by half of Europe. We can just start improving relations and it'll be fine, but yeah, we're definitely getting coalition by a lot of people. Oh, my heir died. No, it's just the consort, never mind. Oh, Austria's unioning Bohemia. That is a dub. That means we're gonna get Bohemia for free. I didn't get Hungary, though. But, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta get one step at a time. Look, I'm just gonna improve relations with Austria so that he leaves the coalition so I can union him. I'm going to break alliance with Hungary so that maybe he gets attacked by Austria. He has a PUCB, I think, I saw. Yeah, he's got the Russian Union for a little bit. So hopefully they're just going to go in there and win the video game. All right, we got this uh, nice Just Fight Wars. Okay, we got Mill 7 here, which means cannons. So let's build cannons. Let's get loans. Who? I mean, loans are just loans, right? Like, they're, they're just, you outscale them. It's never a problem. I've never seen it be a problem. I've never been 150 interest. Couldn't, couldn't have been me. Okay, the Ottomans and the Mamluks are fighting, which is it might be my moment. Let's just let's just provoke our rebels first, though. So let's get let's uh, quickly go over here, provoke, provoke, and then we'll get into that war with the Ottomans. So we gotta provoke here, then we'll go up here and provoke, and then we'll sail the man and provoke. Gosh, provoke here, and then yeah, we'll send our ships up to man. Send our ships over here, and we'll provoke here. Is that a restoration of Union War? I see. I think it is. That could only mean one thing. Can I can I attack him now? Just go to war with him as he's feuding the other guy. It might work. Waiting for Austria to win his war for the uh, Union on Hungary because um that's my Union on Hungary. So uh, yeah, that's working out pretty well. We could try for maintains for just a second and just wait because uh, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for it to get that Union. I do need to kill the Ottomans someday though. But I'm sure the, the Ottomans shouldn't be doing this nearly as well without Constantinople. I think they're still doing pretty well. How do you stop that? Those guys? They don't even need Constantinople anymore. So Austria's about to union Hungary, and I'm just gonna, I'm, you know, so I'm gonna union him without my maintenance on. Let's go. Yeah, he's gonna win. I'm, I figured he's gonna win that war anyways, so I might as well get going in my, on my war. Yeah, he's about to union that guy. Let's just try to help get him people out of the war who will, like, go for this guy. Yeah, Hungary's now PU'd, so that's good. It obviously does add a little bit more people to the war, but it's not a huge problem. So I'm just gonna let people out of the war, like, fast, like, Trier can go home. Then it's just gonna be, like, Trent, Munich, so we'll just, we'll just go over and... All right, white pieces, dude. Um, we need to get out. Osberg could get out. Baden could get out. Honestly, he doesn't really have that great of allies. Poor, poor Austria. All right, Baden, you can go home. Okay, Trent will go home. So it's just Austria and his little crew of vassal or subjects, whatever. So we're just going to go to his capital and murder. Okay, we got the Burgundian succession. All right, yeah, that's pretty nice, I suppose. Castle will defend us once again. We'll end the war here. Just going to grab the union with Austria. A little bit of money. Um, so that's good. So of course we got the uh, PUs with Hungary and Bohemia as well. 
So we got improved relations with those guys. And we also got the inheritance. So, I mean, we got a couple PUs, at least one. But now we need to get to the, the another, another PU, the bigger PU. Next up is going to be um, England. So we got to make the Wargle his capital because it'll be less war score that way. We're getting a claim for that. I don't think we have any claims right now. Oh, wait, I lied. I already got those claims. Yeah, that's what I meant. So I already prematurely got all the claims. So that's good. Okay, the effort demands the lowlands. <laughs> right. Okay, we're just gonna hit all of Burgundy as ours. I probably should have tried to dismantle the HRE here, but I didn't. A little bit uh, of a misplay. Actually, it wouldn't have been possible anyways, because I think that everyone hates me a lot more than that. Yeah, everyone like really hates me. So that probably wouldn't have worked anyways. But I don't really want much from them in the war. I just want to go home. Like, you know, I don't really need much from this war. So we're gonna go ahead and attack England here, make the war goal his capital. Should we lose Kent and jump into that? Yeah, look, look at this Reformation. 92% in 87 is actually crazy. We're going to fully annex these guys. Take a little bit of money. That's looking nice. So England is completely dead now. Probably should grant you the land, right? And what mission did we do? We'll invade England. I'm going to go ahead and um, promote English culture. Yeah, I'm going to go over to France's border suspiciously. You know, just stand there. Make sure everything looks good. We we need English to be the primary culture. So we're going to have to unstate some stuff. Go ahead and do that. A little bit more. There we go, we can culture shift to English culture. Okay, we do have to core the provinces before we can do that, so I, I guess we just gotta core all. But we already culture shifted, so we can restate, and that's fine. We're obviously not gonna recore. Well, we could recore, actually, but it'd be expensive. So that's fine. We gotta core those up, and then we can form into England. So we'll just gotta wait on that. Alrighty, so now that's done, we're gonna go ahead and form English nation and hit... Ah, it doesn't matter. Yes, please. This is probably fine. So that automatically gets rid of your, like, weird Spain thing that you have. When you form a different nation, so that's kind of nice. So you don't have to deal with that, like, factionist loyalty, it's not whatever it's called anymore. But we can also get, let's see, we want strong duchies again. But I also want the integration policy, so I can annex Navarra. But what's going to happen is, obviously, we, we, we know that like, most of the Europe's in a coalition with us. When you form a new nation, the game for, like, has to recalculate that. So it's kind of weird, but it, they should leave the coalition. You do get the English monarchy here, so it's a little bit annoying too. But anyways, we're going to click the 100 Years War. And just hit, we cannot abandon our Angevin claims. And you see everyone's going to leave the coalition because the game doesn't know. Like, the game has to recalculate coalitions or something, as you can see. The reason that's nice is because now we can just restoration and union on France here. So we're just kind of preparing up here. Everyone's leaving that coalition, of course, because the game recalculates your nation, which is really weird. Kind of a little bit uh, che cheesy in a way, right? I think. But, but we're going to go ahead and declare restoration or force union. And well, yeah, let's just do it. Got some guys up here to fight that guy. We got a mission done. What do we do? Raise an army. Oh yeah, we got a subjugation on Scotland. I forgot about that. We could have even another subject. That'd be great. We should probably get a nice uh, morale guy here or something. A discipline guy. That's fine. Okay, we're dead here. We're dying here. Sound of retreat. Okay, we're losing that. Oh, well, ooh. Did we win that? Did we just stack wipe him with no morale? Hmm. I like it. Well, it might be worth... Yeah, I'm thinking here. We're actually going to take some loans and grab the institution. So that we can get mill eight. We'll grab Advent as our uh, second idea group. I'd like to get Scotland out of the war quick so I could use these mercs in the war. So I can kind of do that if I just um barrage with the the water things, the boats. Mostly we're just this war is not gonna be actually like crazy easy. Like France is pretty large. So I do need to see what oh Switzerland already would leave. Oh Switzerland's getting revolt, so he'll he'll he just wants to leave right now. He'll even take the prestige hit, I guess. He doesn't mind. Scotland would actually leave too, so let's just let him leave. We can make him a no wait. France will be my subject, doesn't matter. We'll just wipe peace, uh, Scotland here as well. Then we can send our guys down to uh, help out. Actually, we can't because we don't have enough ships. Shoot. Well, I guess we just get rid of these guys and then hire, like, the free company, I guess. Well, when we see your province, there we go. Start getting our uh, admin ideas. And so now it's just a couple people in France left in the war. We probably should be careful. We're being a little greedy by sieging a little wave from our stack. We'll probably put, like, the free company in between these two guys. But yeah, we're, more or less, we're just going to be sieging forts and... Trying to not get killed. I don't really know where France is, that's the kind of scary part. But more or less, I'm just kind of like, going for forwards. Try, we're getting through our diplo pretty fast. We almost got flexible negotiation, which is good. We actually need to get him to get rid of 11 provinces, because if you notice in this mission tree here, if you want to form an engine of an empire, he has to, um, where is it? This one. He has to have less than that many cities. We can probably get, yeah, we'll get Siena out. This guy can go home as well. I mean, we'll just get it to till to, to it's down to just France. That'll be fine. Prove war taxes here. That'll actually... I had war taxes as long as I thought I had that already, but I didn't. So that's better. Oh, we could collect here too. 
Why aren't we collecting there? Did our trade? Oh, our trade capital moved. I forgot because our capital moved. They, 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 that sneaks up on you. Wow, that's pretty. Thanks, game, for the free five 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 six six four to five five five. This this seems fair, dude. The Protestant Reformation in 1493. I've never seen that. That's nuts. It's crazy when you, what happens when you don't mess with Europe that much. <laughs> We gotta just have to click the union first. But maybe we can make him return a few cores. I guess we just re make him return the two provinces to Burgundy for now. And then take money. And th that's all we can really do. And of course that gives us this mission here. Yeah, we're gonna have to try to improve relations, obviously. But that does probably include our... We have a mission here to do... Um, oh, seize Burgundy. Sure thing. We gotta do this one where Brittany... Yeah, we gotta kill Brittany, but I don't really know how we're gonna do that. Because the coalition. Part of the issue now shows up called Curtail French Nobility. We're gonna grab that. Get some rebels, of course. France is a bit disloyal. We could turn on um, support loyalists. He's still pretty mad. We have the nobility integration policy for one. We're way behind in Diplo for two. We'll figure it out. All right, we got this thing here. This is the um, French English Reconciliation Act. We can select. So that gives us seventy five prestige. Some nice, some nice bonuses. We need to. Um, yeah, he, we have to have a lower loyalty desire with France. So we could. Well, we could dev him a bit. It's gonna be tough to actually get him to positive relations because it's so negative. Yeah, I mean, it won't be that bad, actually. It'll just take a while. We gotta somehow get his prov- like, you know, get rid of his provinces. A little bit. He's- he's, he's got nine too many. Or ten. No, we gotta get rid of ten of his provinces somehow. I'm trying to decide, um, if I should do subjugation, because I have so many subjects. I guess we will. It's fine. <laughs> What's another subject when you already have fifty? You know? We should've probably got influence, because we have so many subjects. But, oh well. We could probably go influence as our next idea group. Oh, France is starting to be a little bit more loyal. Like, we, we could just dev. I think we'll just dev France a little bit. So I can get my mission done. We gotta get him to, like, what? I think yeah, we gotta get him to less than 30. We can just keep devving him until he gets there. There we go. I got this mission done. What does this do? Oh, it makes us our leader better. We'll just get this. We'll get some extra points for free. Our ruler's too good already. What do we need to do for this? Oh, yeah. We gotta own all of Brittany. So I don't really know how we're gonna do that. But we'll, we'll figure it out. Anyways, let's, um... I'm gonna take this from this guy. And then I'm going to take these two from this guy. And I'll give these to Meath. I don't want them. And then I can't... Fortunately, I can't take these because of the subjugation war. So I just have to make them a vassal. And maybe take one province. That's fine, I guess. I will, I'll have to probably seize land to get that last one. Which I guess we could do by just placating a bit. And then deving a little bit. And then we could... um Yeah, we could go ahead and seize land from Scotland there. I just seize land from Scotland so I can complete this mission. Well, if I wanted this one... And then this one. We should be able to do the uh, that, yeah, debate now. So we can do... We can't do it. No, oh, I have to own the provinces. Great. That's awkward. Okay. Well, I guess we could try to annex him. I mean, we don't really care. I guess it doesn't matter, right? I'm just going to give Meat the provinces. I don't really want them. And it's fine if he can have them. He's he's going to love them, I, I've heard. I'm going to declare war in Morocco here. And yeah, that's fine. Let's do it. Let's fight Morocco. I guess we're fighting Granada too. Perfect, we get it. Finally take Granada. We're gonna we're gonna white piece Geneva here. We gotta figure out a way to break up this coalition a bit. Let's just fully annex Granada. Take a little bit of money. I'm just gonna have Tunis white piece so I can war with him again soon in this war. So just go ahead and um let's just go ahead and do that. This looks good. I'm gonna end the war here. Just take the promises we need to form Rome from Morocco, a bit of money. We can probably seize land or concentrate the vet de dev a little bit. Should be fine. I think it's yeah, I think it's time that we just attack the Ottomans, I guess. What else is there? We're kind of coalitioned with the whole game. Let's just go ahead and attack the Ottomans. Oh, we could call in Poland too. Let's go. We got a journey to, ahead of us to get to his land though. Can they start the Golden Age now? The Ottomans are pretty strong. Well, kind of. They're, they're obviously like... It hurts the Ottomans pretty bad just to take Constantinople. Pretty simple stuff. So. But it always seems to be pretty effective against the Ottomans. Age of Reformation is here. We got the re weird religious things though. Okay. Forget England has some weird religious problems. I got the War of the Roses thing done. Oh no, my little fleet. Why was it here? We didn't even use this time to cross the water. Get across the water. You idiots. We just threw away our fleet for nothing if you don't cross that water. There we go. I, mean, I think we're just hard winning this war. We have so many guys. Yeah, they look very siege down over here. Oh, wait, can we get finish our Diplo? Oh yeah, we can finish the Diplomatic ideas now so we can choose break. That might come in handy for the Ottomans. We are slowly getting through our idea groups here. Oh, we can't war taxes anymore because the age. I'm going to end the war with the Ottomans here. Just make them uh, give a bunch of stuff back to Byzantium and then make a little path to Hungary. So we kind of have like a nice, you know, connecting path to their nation. And that's that's pretty nice. So yeah, that looks that looks uh, pretty good. Oh, we have this one province here. I guess we'll keep it. We can core it up. Fortunately, we curry favors like 
insanely slow. They, they, I feel like they nerfed that too hard. You used to be able to actually like give promises back, but now you can't like hardly at all. Did you curry favors like nothing? Yeah, I don't have a way to, to like pick this like unless we just fight the coalition. There's not really much I can do. The only thing, the only thing that would fix the problem I think right now is the this would fix the problem. The cheese. We gotta do the cheese. Uh, that's our gonna have a jail free card. So I think what we would, would want to do is like release, return this province over here. So we could just like attack these guys, like I return Galatia to like, you know, nobody. And then basically I think you just make a save, like you, know, you save the game and you make a backup and you just like repay the next year over and over until you get the inheritance. And then you can just like do this war real fast. Okay, so our plan worked without even having to try to, to you know, make it work. They just let us have it for free. So cool. Let's just bring any dies. We're going to use this to reset our aggressive expansion. Um, and we're going to do this by granting away all our provinces to our boy before we integrate him. So let's do that. Okay, that's all we can grant to him for now. But that should be still a good chunk. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and declare war on uh, Galicia here. And it's gonna be a truce break, which isn't ideal. It's not really that big of a problem. Let's just grab that guy. So go ahead and declare war here. No, yeah, truce break, barrage assault. And then what we're gonna do is offer him to cancel subjects on Burgundy and just go ahead and hit Offer that to him, that's fine. So we cancel subjects with Burgundy, and then we're gonna just go, I could kiss that horse, and it's gonna become all ours again. And we will have to restate. The game thinks we're going bankrupt, but we're not really. We just have to recalculate. So let's go ahead and restate all that stuff up. And just in case the game wants to, it doesn't calculate right I'm gonna exploit dev just a little bit, just to make sure it doesn't accidentally bankrupt me. Because I need to make sure that, does, that recalculates my correct position. So as we can see here, we might, we might still be a little bit aggressive, I don't know if that like is gonna completely do it because we couldn't give us all the provinces, but it should help a list, at least. Well, we can just wait a month. Yeah, there we go. Coalition's probably just completely dead. So yeah, we we our bigger our our problem that we were running into before was we were getting coalition by everybody, but we are no longer getting coalition by any everybody. So that's obviously kind of like one headache out of the way. Coalition is slowly just completely dead. I don't even know who's really left in it. Basically nobody. And that's say bait like like actually nobody. The coalition's completely gone. Okay. Perfect. So you love to see it because that was a big coalition and now it is gone. <laughs> and, you know, at, at no loss to, uh, to anything from us. So fun little trick I discovered that I like that I like to use these days. Obviously, we're very overextended because we're a gov cap situation and we're stuck in a I think we're stuck in a weird government situation. We, we need to like I forget how to fix it as, as this nation. Oh, what we can do is half state everything. That'll fix it. So let's just unstate restate. Did that work? Did, did that help? Ah, that's good enough. We can probably grant the land right down here, too. And then we're definitely good. Okay. We got the Dutch Revolt on the way, which is not ideal. We can probably just accept cultures for now, though. Let, let's 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 get this mission done first, because we have to own this province anyways. So how about we just quickly declare this war and take care of that? So that's fine. We also going to get rid of some forts here, because we got, like, way too many forts from this guy. We're not, we got to get a couple of provinces, so we're not trying to get a bunch of E at once. We're just trying to get, like, you know, a couple... Yeah, so we have all provinces in the region must be owned by us. All right, flexation with Brittany here. And that completes a mission here. Then we just need to do this. We got to own, I guess, it's like a handful of provinces. So let's just fight this war first, I guess. We got to take Abnegon or whatever it's called. So let's just do that real quick. There is four separate wars we have to fight here for that mission. So I'll, I'll end the war when you'll take it. I see the one province. Okay, we can end the war here. Just take that province. That's all we need. And then we still need, like, what? Those, like, yeah, we still need three more wars, I think. So, declaration of war on Switzerland. And we just want one province. Just need one province in this war, so it's not like we need to, you know, sit there for too long. I just have to take that province for the mission. Don't really care too much. Okay, he should be able to end the war. I just need the one province here, so that's fine. We're still not getting a, there's no coalition forming yet. So, we still need, what, two more provinces? Oh, three. So, we need to take Lorraine out. We'll just declare that war. And obviously these wars are all pretty easy, calling Poland even. So this war's gonna be a little more annoying because we obviously have to full annex them, so probably gonna have to like, you know, get everybody out of the war. Like Brandenburg and all that. So let's start the sieging. We're just probably gonna start getting people out of the war that don't need to be there. I mean, if he'll end the war, I'll do it. But I doubt he will. Yeah. So white peace, other people. And we just more or less need to wait. And white peace, this guy. It's just um two people left now, so this guy and yeah, it's, you know, it's pretty much over. So white peace Salzburg, and then we'll go ahead and take these provinces. So now we're going to have to take that one more province over here. So fabricated claim here, 
and then we'll go do that war next. Go ahead and declare war. Again, we just need the one province, so... And these are just all the France region provinces for the mission that I'm doing. I think this is the last one, so it should be about done with. So end the war, take that province, and our mission is done. It's nice. Okay, we got some extra stuff we could do here, but we don't really need to do this. Mission we need... Well, we need Aventech 10 anyways. Still ways off, I guess. But we gotta figure out a way to get England to... Or, we gotta figure out a way to get France to, you know, return our provinces. We can't... We can probably slowly try to do it with favors. It will take some time. But I suppose we could release Gravans and then try to get him to return provinces slowly. But our favors, obviously, we don't... We don't have a ton of favor growth. So I went ahead and released Brittany. Or return core rather, and then I released Provence, mostly so I could force return provinces because France has too much for me to um, form the Angevin Empire. So I thought that would be a good way to just do that. So I'm going to go ahead and declare war here. And we're going to force lose the war and give some provinces away. I'm hoping that we can do that. So on the war, just offer Brittany his provinces back, and that's fine. Now I'm going to declare him Provence and do a similar thing, where I'm just going to offer his provinces back. In the war with Provence, going to offer him all his provinces back, or at least a good chunk of them. Now you can see that France has a proper run of cities, so I should be able to do the Angevin Empire. Just have to hit Admin 10, which we're closing in on. We'll get there pretty soon. Probably gonna grab a loan here and hit the institution. We're just a little bit, so we're just about 300 points away from forming the Angevin Empire. And as a side note, I don't think Byzantium's worth subjugating and doing the whole like return process anymore. He gets too many of these rebel events, and these rebel events are really ir irritating. Get this diplomatization cost here. Get Tech 10 here, and then I'm actually gonna grab. Influence here. And I, of course, could do the Acts of Union here, but I want to show you guys one alternative thing you could do, just for fun. I'm going to go ahead and unstate everything. And we're actually going to go back to Castilian Culture, so we're going to go ahead and just um, Culture Shift there. Back to Castilian. And then we can go ahead and restate everything. We're going to go ahead and integrate Aragon. And with our ideas, it won't take too long, uh, maybe eight years or so. Or a Diplomat Advisor to help. Maybe there's some debate that will help. I think uh, there is a debate that will help, but we don't have it right now. And we'll take back this little province over here that we had to give away. The reset of AE. Sign that up real quick. Council Trent's here. Okay, sure, sure. I always like to go the harsh side because of the CCR cost. Or I mean the War Score Promise cost. Or the Defender of the Faith. Convert a little bit. We're kind of just chilling. Waiting for our annexation to be done. I thought of one random thing we could do for fun. We could integrate Austria. And the reason we integrate Austria is because we could become Austria and get his idea set for faster integration. We integrated Aragon now. I'm going to improve relations with all my subjects now. Because we could pretty much integrate everybody in a bit here. And since I've been improving relations with the electors, I actually have this weird, I guess, extra reason to elect. Didn't know that was the thing. So we integrated Austria, and this is just for fun. This is not really required. The last month I did, but I've unstayed all the land to culture shift to Austrian. And we need to demote something. Okay, you demote that. That's fine. Demote that. And let's see. Oh, culture shift Austrian. And we can reclaim the Austrian history of Austria. And hit yes, please. The reason we're doing that is for the extra diplomatization cost. After that, I'm going to just go ahead and switch culture to Castilian. Culture shift, Castilian. So I'm going to select this Force Acts of Union debate. Then I'm going to form Spanish militarily. Hit no, we can't abandon our roots. And now we uh, can do this debate. And just go ahead and hit yes, because I actually like the engine ideas better now that I think about it. So obviously we inherit that guy, and we're going to be pretty strong, as you guys can see. But this way you can see we have the Spain mission tree, um, engine ideas, so it's pretty good. Hope you guys found this interesting. But as always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.